check it out. Right near the nature trail. Is that cool or what? We can uh, do that hike tomorrow. We are at Chapman State Park, Clarendon, Pennsylvania. Although Warren is the uh, bigger city that has uh, a lot of services there. They have a Walmart, woo -woo, which is a camper's must. You gotta have your uh, gotta have your stuff from Walmart. This guy was very friendly. He uh, took off to go somewhere. Um, he lives about an hour from here. So there's another trail, I think, uh, heading out that way. So there are trails around here. And it is cold. Uh, not windy. Thank you very much. The um, I guess it snowed a little bit here last night. So they uh, said it's supposed to get nice in the next day or two. So, of course, we're here tomorrow and the next day. We'll go into Warren, and there's some historic sites, uh, buildings, for the most part, I think, there that we want to see. But it was an easy drive up. Um, a lot of uh, back roads, but the roads were real good. Um, small roads, you know, two-way traffic, 50 miles, 55 miles an hour. And um, looking forward to a quiet night here. The guy across the road said it's real quiet here, so I shall take him at his word. We have a nice spot here, really like it, it's level. Uh, I've been just watching some of the, the uh, we're in number 20, and uh, 23 is a nice back in there. Uh, they're, they're not real deep, they're, that one up there is a little deeper, that's probably about a 25 foot travel trailer there. And there's a few tenters, I cannot believe it. but. They've got the power, I guess. So, we will uh, check and see what's all around here. Looks like a fairly long ways into the park uh, from the road, but uh, not bad at all. An easy drive. Very pretty. A lot of green, a lot of grass. So, we shall make the best of it in either case. Walking around a little bit here for you. Uh, 29 is just a shorty. Uh, very short. Camper, uh, very, uh, a van probably. 31. Got him a nice tent set up there. Then I'm looking at these along the way. Let's see, this is 22. Nice spot. Probably good shade. So, if I see any bad ones here, I'll let you know. Uh, 33 right here. Boy, just a very short uh, truck or a car. That's it. That's it. 35 again. It's just a short pull up over there. That's car, truck, maybe a van, but you'd, it's uneven. So, eh, nope, wouldn't do that one. You like shade? Oh, this one is a good one. 28. Very wide too. That's a nice spot. Just going around Lupe here. Ew, didn't see these. Well, I haven't been this way yet. <laughs> There's uh, bathrooms there. Let's, let's check those out. And hopefully they're pretty nice. Widened out here. Oh yeah. This is very nice. This is really nice. They did tile in here. So, hey, this is spick and span. This is good. Got a couple of turlets. Looking good. Couple of U's. And a couple of showers. Let's see, got an ADA on there on the left. And, uh, oh yeah, this is just absolutely spick and span. No pay here. Oh, I have never seen one that shows temperatures. I have never seen that. Okay, well, you gonna trust it? <laughs> now looking at these, that's 34. That's fairly short. Uh, a little downhill, 36 right there. A little bit uphill, but it's a short one. And then 41 is pretty short. 
so is 39 so uh, these are a little bit shorter let's see what we find up the way here yeah 43 it's a car or a van it's sloped this way too so you would have to do a little leveling out on that one I just came around the uh, circle right over here and the, the bathrooms are back up over that way. And uh, they got a cabin here. And they got two yurts. I have never slept in a yurt. Never been in one. They look cool. But the uh, water's down there. I wanted to see what that looked like. So I'm just coming down from, I think it calls it uh, yurt, yurt lane or something like that. Um, there's a couple more cottages over on the side there. And uh, there's a little boat launch down here. That's a spillway over there. We came by that. I'll take a picture of that. And uh, right down here to the lake. Looks like maybe you can rent canoes over there. That would be cool. What a way to die, huh? Because that's what I do. Linda and I are not the best at that. All you got to do is watch our... Uh, video on Big Ben, Texas. <laughs> I suppose you could do fishing here. Catch and release lake. Whoops. And also there's a bicycle helmet law in Pennsylvania. So if you're going to come down here and do biking, and there's lots of roads, guys, um, bring a helmet. Now this one is site number two. So that's a little bit short right there. And uh, you'd have to park your vehicle up there if you bring in a camper. It's doable for maybe a 22, 23 footer, but I'd find out if you could park right there. Uh, site six here, a little bit short, but you could do it. See, it swags, swags down a little bit right there, but you could do it. Uh, maybe a 20, 20 footer. This one really is, ooh, yeah. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I think that's number four, and this is number seven over here. Not bad. Uh, you could get it in, but still have room to park your truck right here if you're trailer camping. Nine uh, backs in and then starts dropping off back here a little bit. It's pretty short, and it's wonky. Coming this way, you'd have to park right back over in that area, right in there, instead of coming back here. Because that slopes off. But it's doable with a, a 18, 20 footer, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I would avoid that if you can. Well, split my britches and call me cracky. I'd like to see someone try washing up the hydrant. Be okay with me. Yeah, that one right there at the corner, I'm not sure what number it is. It's a little short, but it's doable. Yeah, 16 here is uphill battle. And then really not going to level out because it's sloping this way and it's sloping this way. So I wouldn't try that with a camper. Great for a van. That would be good because you can back up clear to that uh, electrical outlet. The rest of these look pretty good. Now this is 15 here. He had a little bit of a dip getting down. 17 looks great. 18, 19, 20. Right up to us. Beautiful morning here. Chapman State Park. It uh, got a little cold last night. It frost all over the truck. It was down to 34, but our little uh, electric space heater kept us fine inside. We just tossed on one extra blanket, and this little heater I got isn't as good as the other one we used to have. I couldn't find it uh, at the store, but anyway, I've shown that in another video. So just to warm up inside, we just turned on the uh, gas heater, propane heater, and uh, just brought it up to temperature and got nice and warm inside. So hopefully today we can go into town, look around a little bit at some of the historical sites, and warm up. It's supposed to be 60, I think. One of the things uh, we wanted to do, and you should do it too, is to come down to Warren uh, to the County Historical Society. And there's a walking tour of really famous old buildings around here. The, uh, you can go inside the Historical Society building here. It's free of charge. 
and there's a couple of wonderful young pretty ladies in there who will tell you all about it but it is amazing it's just really nice to see some of the history in here so we're going around on this walking tour and there are several places uh, around a one block area rather large one block like the mansion house and it has it's a walking tour it's something to do and I think you would be better off for it if you did it this is one of the houses we looked at now it has several architectural features in it that are pointed out on the brochure and uh, if I get a remember I'll try to take a picture so this is uh, was built by two men from Scotland the original house that was here was moved to the back of the property so this is uh, was considered a very fine home and it looks like brick on the outside uh, the whitish stripes look like brick but that's actually wood made to look like brick so this was really cool reading about it you understand a little bit more about architecture which is all I want to know talk about differences in architecture this was built in 1890 almost looks like a Swiss chalet uh, very pretty and unfortunately now apartments so this brought us around to the final uh, structure the courthouse and this is an empire style structure architecture and the uh, character on top of uh, I think it's called the justice that is a uh, replica, the original, they moved down in here, uh, probably to preserve it more. Then there's the historical side. So we've been around, it took about, oh, probably an hour for us to walk around. We read everything in here about each building, the history, and you know, hey, it's free, guys. Uh, this is a, a good thing to do. I would encourage you to do it if you can, please. So straight out of our campground down there, where that car's coming around, that's where our trailer's parked. We just came right up this. This is an old railroad track. And uh, you walk up about a quarter of a mile less, and you come to the Lowlands Trail and a swinging bridge. How cool. Anyone for fun? Want to try doing a little swinging there? Ha ha ha. It's so peaceful, man. <laughs> 